Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man DZ's Kanji Study Sessions. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N1 list here today. As always, if we see a new kanji in one of these vocabulary words, we're going to go over its uh, readings, its meanings, and how to remember it based on the radicals that make it up. If we see a new word but it's made a kanji we already know, we're just going to go over the meanings of those kanji and how they come together to make our new word. I'm going to write down new kanji 10 times and new words with old kanji 3 to 5 times. If you're going to follow me along with me on the stream, I'm going to say these out loud a bunch of times while I write them down. If you don't want to listen to me do that, head on over to YouTube where you can just skip ahead to the explanations. And uh, yeah, if you just want these word lists, head on over to Google Drive. Our first word of the day is hajiru. Hajiru is to feel ashamed with our kanji for shame and embarrassment. Hajiru is to feel ashamed. Hajiru. is to feel ashamed. Let me look up how to write this one because I kind of forget how to write. Hazukashi hokani hajiru. Hazukashi, yeah, okay. Hajiru. Hajiru is to feel ashamed. Hajiru is to feel ashamed. Number two is to sen. To on the left side for to hit, a mark kind of or appropriate, and sen on the right side for selection. So to sen is to kind of win a selection, if you will. Being elected, being selected, or winning a lottery is to sen. To sen is winning a selection. To sen. Sen is winning a selection. Tolsen is winning a selection. Tolsen is winning a selection or election. Tolsen. Number three is shisetsu. Shi on the left side, I think is for establishing something. Administering alms or first aid. Shi on the left side for administering alms or first aid. And setsu on the right side for establishment, provision, or preparing. So this is preparing a place for applying alms or aid an institution and establishment it's also the same word used for like uh, an orphanage or a or a homeless shelter she sets it is the establishment of alms or aid she sets it she said to this it's the establishment of alms and aid institution or establishment she said to She said to She said to She said to this. She said to, it's the establishment of alms or aid in an institution or establishment. She said to. Number four is gen te. Gen on the left side for a limit or boundary and te on the right side for establishing or setting. So a gen te is a set limit or boundary, a limit or restriction. Gen te is a limit or restriction. Gente is a limit or restriction. Gente. Gente. 
Gente is the setting of a boundary or a restriction. Gente. Gente this. Number five is otozureru. Otozureru is, it kind of has two meanings based on whether it's used transitively or intransitively. Used transitively, it means to visit or call on someone. Nani nani o dare dare o ta otozureru. To visit or call on someone. But it can also mean to arrive, to come, or to appear. Ni otozureru. He arrived, came, or appeared somewhere. Doko, doko ka de otozureru. Come, arrive, appear, or to visit or call on. Otozureru. Hoka ni visit or call. Mo otozureru. 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 So visit or call on. Or to appear or arrive at. Otozureru. Number six is furu mai. Furu on the left side for to shake or sway, and mai on the right side for dancing. Furu mai literally means shaking and swaying, dancing or motions, but it really just means your behavior or conduct. How are you shaking and moving, if you will? Furu mai is behavior or conduct. Furumai is behavior or conduct. Furumai. Furumai is behavior or conduct. Furumai. Number seven is gachi. Ga on the left side is for kind of joining or merging, and chi on the right side is coincidence. And this time we're happening about joining in in um, kind of concurrence or conformation to one's own ideals or to some ideal. Gachi is literally joining your conformation or joining a. Um, joining kind of the same uh it's like conf it's conforming right it's compliance it's following along with some previously established idea law or rule gachi is agreement concurrence or conformation gachi gachi is following along with some some something conformation Concurrence or agreement. Gachi. Gachi desu. Gachi. It's conformation, compliance, or concurrence. Gachi. Number eight is tome. To on the left side is our new word for transparent or per, well, sorry, new kanji for transparent or permeate. Pronounced to hokani suku, which is to be transparent or to go through, with the radicals for this is almost to invite. And on the left bottom left side we have motion. So I'm thinking inviting instead of speaking an invitation, you are moving an invitation through something. Transparent or permeate with to move through. Tome no to. And me on the right side just means bright. So tome means see through clearly, right? Transparent or clear. Tome. Tome no to is transparent. Tome no to. Hokani suku. Tome no to. Transparent or permeate. Tome no to. Tome no to. Tome no to. 
together with me on the right side we have to see through clearly or transparent told me number nine number yeah, number nine number nine is kimagure kimagure is a not adjective which really means it's a noun but kimagure is on a whim caprice fickle or moody ki on the left side is um energy or spirit and magure I'm not sure where magure comes from. Kimagure. Just ne. Magure. Originally, could be used with the kanji for distract or be mistaken for. Magireru. So kimagure is kind of be distracted with one's energy. To go at it on a whim, caprice, fickle, or moody. Kimagure. 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 Is whim, fickle, or moody. Kimagure. 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 So whim, fickle, mood, or fancy. Kimagure. Kimagure. Number 10 is togeru, with our new kanji for to consummate, accomplish, or attain, with our radical for a <laughs> two handled pot lid. Un over a uh, pig, a usually kind of indicative of food or a pig, and our emotion radical on the bottom. So since th this kanji is also used in uh, kazoku, kazoku no ka, also for the kanji for a house, in which case it's kind of the roof over which you have your pork meals, um, which is kind of how you can think of it. But sui is to consummate, accomplish, and obtain, meaning moving the pork to the house is kind of how I'm looking at this. Finishing, accomplishing, or attaining something by moving your win, your hunt, your your pig to the house. Sui, hokani togeru is to accomplish or attain. Achieve or come to an end with. Togeru. Hokani sui. Accomplish, attain, or come to an end with. Togeru. Hokani sui. Togeru or sui. To achieve, attain, accomplish. Or come to an end with or at. Togeru or sui. Number 11 is shinten. Shin on the left side for to continue, and ten on the right side for kind of opening or development of. So shinten means continuing through progression or opening and unfolding of something. Shinten is progress or development. 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 Shinten. Shinten is progress or development. Shinten. And finally, number 12 is in shitsu. In on the left side for shadow or darkness. It can also be malicious or a kind of shady. And shitsu on the right side for wet or damp. So if something is in the shadows and it's damp, it's shady and damp. It can be used literally like that. But it usually means malicious, spiteful, vicious, or underhanded. In shitsu. In a very metaphorical sense. In shitsu. Means shady and damp or malicious. 
ミムシツミムシツシェリーダンプ or マリシャスミムシツシェリーダンプ or マリシャスミムシツミムシツミムシツシェリーエンダンプオーラマリシャスミムシツミムシツです Let's go back to the top, make sure we've got all these pins in our memory where the memorizations will eventually one day be. Make sure we got them down. Make sure you're making flashcards and immersing yourself in Japanese. That's how the real learning happens. Our first word was to feel ashamed or hajiru. Hajiru. With our kanji for ashamed or embarrassed. Hajiru. It's to be ashamed. Being elected or being selected is tosen. To hit. In being selected, Stolzen. He's being elected or selected for a lottery or some other contest. An institution or an establishment specifically that applies alms or aid to someone is a Shisetsu. She on the left side for alms, aid, or bandage, and Setsu on the right side for establishment. Shisetsu. A limit or restriction is a gente or the setting of a limit. Gente is a limit or restriction. To visit, to call on, to arrive, to come or to appear with transitive meaning to visit it or call on or otozureru or to arrive, to come or appear at otozureru. 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 Behavior or conduct is furu mai, literally to sway on the left, furu and mai on the right for dancing, but it's really your moving and shaking or your conduct, your furu mai. An agreement, occurrence, confirmation, or compliance with something is gachi, ga on the left side for joining or merging, and shi on the right side, which really just means forward or do. But is often is also used for coincidence. Gachi is agreement or concurrence or confirmation with something. Transparent or clear is tome. To on the left side with our invitation to move through. And me on the right side for clear or brightly. Tome is transparent or clear. On a whim, caprice, fickle, or moodly is ki magure. On the left side for your spirit or energy and magure. Or to kind of be fickle. Himagure. To accomplish, to achieve, to come to, or to end with, with our new kanji for consummate, accomplish, or attain, with our pig that we have attained and are finishing up at our house, is togeru. To reach at or come to the end with. Progress or development is shinten. Shin on the left side for to continue, and ten on the right side for opening or unfolding and expanding. Shinten is development or progress. And finally, malicious, spiteful, vicious, or literally speaking, shady and damp. We have in shitsu. In on the left side for shade and shadows, and shitsu on the right for damp. Wet. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving break, and I hope you're not looking forward to work tomorrow, you maniacs. Thanks for watching. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita. Johnny.